Welcome to the Mac video for Earthwork Record System, also known as ERS, Introduction to Creating and Maintaining ERS Plots. This video is the first in a series of videos for QC data entry about ERS plots. Mac ERS plots are flexible to accommodate different construction scenarios. There is no one way to create plots. Before we demonstrate the plot functions, we need to review some basic information about how ERS plots are created. Users creating plots need to know the following, among other things. How to read points and scale elevations and find base and asphalt thicknesses from the plans. Construction methods, including but not limited to phases, lip thicknesses, wall requirements, such as reinforced versus non-reinforced, and drainage pipe options, such as the type of optional pipe material selected by the contractor, and if the structures will be compacted independently from the pipe run or with the pipe run. The person creating the plots may not know at the time they are created how the project is going to be built, for example, where phase lines will be needed. Adjustments to the original setup are allowed so that field conditions and construction operations can be accounted for. You must be in your company roles and have the role of data entry under one of the companies assigned as the QC company on an ERS project to create and maintain ERS plots. From the Mac home screen, select the Earthwork Records System menu option, then select the Earthwork Records System submenu option. You'll be navigated to the ERS project screen. Mac defaults to the last ERS project you worked on. If this is not the correct ERS project, enter the financial project number in the go-to field and select the project from the returned list. If the ERS project is not found, contact the local district materials and research office, Earthwork Specialist, or DAC. ERS projects must be created by a user with the role of program maintenance user. After that, a data entry user from one of the QC companies can create plots. There may be more than one QC company assigned. When multiple QC companies are assigned, the company should discuss and agree who will be responsible for creating and updating the plots. When the ERS PMU creates the ERS project, they may create one or more logbooks. QC data entry can add logbooks as needed during the life of the project. Let's start by creating a logbook. To create more logbooks, select the update icon. It looks like a pencil. An update dialog box appears. In this example, we have a logbook for drainage and two ESB logbook types, one for left roadway and one for right roadway. Select the Add Logbook option. A drop-down list for the logbook types appears. Select the logbook type from the drop-down list. Enter a name in this field if desired, and select the Save option. If Other is selected, the Name field is required. If two or more of the same logbook type is selected, for example, two left roadway logbooks, the name field becomes required for all logbooks with that logbook type. You can have only one drainage logbook type per ERS project. A separate logbook must be created when there is a station break in the sampling and testing. This is because Mac fills in the entries between station gaps to make it easier for data entry to manually enter the elevations. For example, if the existing and proposed elevations are the same from station 100 plus 00 to station 105 plus 00, data entry only needs to enter the values for station 100 plus 00 and station 105 plus 00. Mac fills in the entries for stations between these two station numbers. While this is helpful for ranges with the same data, 
The automation means that when there are no areas of density between stations, different logbooks must be created for each station range. To update a logbook name, select the Update icon. In the Update dialog box, update the name and select the Save option. You can also delete a logbook from the Update dialog box by selecting the X next to the logbook. You will not receive an Are You Sure prompt. Select the Save option to delete the logbook. This concludes the Mac video for ERS Plot Introduction. Thank you for reviewing the training. In the next video, we will take a closer look at plots for embankment subgrade and base. If you need assistance with Mac, please contact your local district application coordinator. For assistance with ERS, contact the local district materials and research office earthwork specialist.